I look like I am ready to roll around in the snow, but I am warm and that's all that matters. I decided we needed one more video. I know that this is going to be posted on Christmas Eve, but hopefully it's a video that you can just watch whenever you want to, maybe when you're waiting for food to get done or just, I don't know, but I am super ready to actually just go shopping and see what they have. So I'm gonna put the timestamp right here if you wanna fast forward right through the haul. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. So once inside, I grabbed my cart and headed to the home decor section. First thing I saw was this adorable bowl. I just love the speckled look of it. I also saw this vase. It was just a really different shape, but I didn't end up getting it. But I did love these mugs though. I thought they would be perfect for hot cocoa. I also stumbled across this candlestick holder, which I thought was really cute, but I really loved this pillar candlestick holder. Love the wood grain that's coming off of it. I just think it's a beautiful piece to have. Next, I headed to the art section where I found many pieces that I really liked but didn't end up picking up. But I did really love this art piece right here. It was stunning, as well as this. The colors in this were amazing. And I saw this end table and so desperately wanted to restore it. However, when I went back, it was no longer there. I did, however, notice these trays on the bottom shelf. I thought they were gorgeous and I felt like they were honestly made for my space in my home. And so uncharacteristic of my style, but I absolutely loved this face right here. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't stop to take a look at the brass candlestick holders. And during my second look through of the frames, I stumbled across this one. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I love the corner detailing of it and this wooden vase too. It was so different and unique and that made me love it that much more. As I continued on looking through the shelves, I stumbled across this jug right here. Love the color of it, but unfortunately I left it behind because I already have so many styles of that. But I started laughing when I saw this cup right here. I absolutely love this show. And this vase right here was such an eye-catching piece. It was truly something that I've never seen before, and so I just had to have it for my home. So I wasn't supposed to go thrifting today, but I was just like, um, this was a good day. This was a pretty good day at Goodwill for two reasons. One, found some things that I really love, but two, really good prices today. And not because of tax sales. It was just like they were pricing them reasonably today. So thank goodness. For me, the day is not over. I still want to look at other places and see what they have. So let's head on over to the next place. So I decided to go to Salvation Army to see what the inventory looks like on a weekday. I first stumbled across this vase, which I thought was incredible, and for whatever reason, I didn't end up picking it up. I also stumbled across this piece that I thought was really adorable and thought would make a great styling piece. And this lamp was an interesting find. I thought that the stained glass was beautiful, but inside you could actually put like tea light candles, which I thought that was really cool. And this older style pitcher was really beautiful. I love the carving into it as well. There were so many great pieces here and on a normal day, I would definitely take them home with me. But this particular day, I was actually looking for specific items. And for that reason, I left some great pieces behind. But I know for those pieces, I'm sure they're gonna find a great home. Also unexpected find, but apparently Santa is entering the modern era. I did, however, find this cabinet. It was so beautiful and in amazing condition. And so I had to stop and take a look. Honestly, if I had the room in my home, it would have come home with me for sure. So just got done in there, found a few things. But other than that, I do think I have a sizable haul. So with that being said, it's thrift tall time. Okay, so first up is this frame. I actually didn't see it the first time I was looking and I went back around to look at the frames again and I saw it and immediately I had to pick it up. I thought it was so beautiful. I love the detailing on it. The person that I was talking to about this frame actually was talking about how it almost looked like dragon wings in the corner. So I thought that was really cool. I am always on the lookout for frames even when I don't need them. But I will say that these are the styles that I'm really looking for right now. Regardless, I still love the style and I'm totally fine with finding frames frames that are reproductions of an older style. So surprisingly this day, Goodwill was reasonably priced. And so I found so many things that were a decent 
price. This, however, I feel like was just a little more than what I would have expected it to be. This was $7.99. I was thinking maybe ballpark $5.99 at max, but regardless, I was still happy to pick it up. And as far as what's gonna go inside the frame, I have been working on painting. It's not going well. So at this point, I'll either make something that is okay or I'll just resort to buying something for this. Next up is actually this wood vase. First and foremost I've never seen a style like this before. It's a very interesting shape and the reason I got it is because it's a wood vase, it's a unique shape, so those two things together just made me really want it. I really love the fact that it's got this gooseneck and the opening is really small. So this would probably more or less be a styling piece without any florals in it. It's not intended for something to go inside it. Now this one was $7.99, which I think is a fair price for wood. Walnut is a good quality wood and it's just got some beautiful grain, which is what really drew me to it. I think this could be amazing styled right. Next up is actually two of the same thing. So I got not one, but two of these trays. So the reason why I got two is because I had two different ideas of how I wanted to style these. So one I think I want actually on our bar down here. And the second one I actually want to use as a vanity tray for myself. I'm pretty sure this metal right here is indeed brass, but I just thought it was cool. I don't mind that this is scratched. That doesn't bother me at all. This is not obviously a mirror. It's reflective, but it's not a true mirror. So I was fine with the fact that it was scratched. If anything, I think this is one of those kind of materials that scratches easily anyways. But these trays were only $4.99 each, which I think is an incredible price. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I thought this was just gorgeous with the little handles, the curved handles. I just think it was really stylish and I was really happy to pick it up. Honestly, was really surprised that I found this. I don't know if I was just in the right place at the right time. I have no idea how long these were on the shelf, but as soon as I saw them, I'm like, Oh yeah, those look like my next purchase. I honestly think these are gorgeous. They're so simple, but I feel like they're so elegant at the same time. And they could be styled many different ways to suit the needs of the room. Next up, I actually surprised myself with this purchase, but I ended up getting this vase. I loved this vase. It is not like any other style that I have in my home. First and foremost, it's a lot more colorful than what my home typically presents itself as. But two, I just think it's a very different style. I have no idea what style this would be considered, but at the same time, I loved it. And so, because of that, I had to get it. The shape obviously is gorgeous, but I love these lines on it. I believe it was hand painted too. And the pattern is not perfect, but it's so beautiful. Unless you have these colors running throughout your house, I feel like this is more of like a seasonal decor piece. Truthfully, I just really love it. I think this was a good score. This was $4.99. Okay, next up. I saw them and I had to get them. I think it's just, it's just about time that I call myself out and say I probably will never stop buying brass candlestick holders. Probably never. But I actually saw this one first by itself. $2.99 for this one. For a small one, I was just like, mm, okay, it's not awful. But then, as I was about to leave, these ones came out on a cart and I immediately grabbed them. They were sort of $4.99 for the pair. I just don't understand though. So basically, one of these is cheaper than this. I really don't understand that logic. But whatever. I have a question for you though. What is your go-to for getting wax out of your candlestick holders? I just do the hot water method, but I'd really like to know if there's an easier way to remove it all very quickly and efficiently. So if you have any tips and tricks about that, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Anything to make my life easier, would be awesome. Next up is this ceramic. I really loved this shade. The color is more of a grayish blue, which isn't an awful color. I just think for my home, it's probably best if I change it to a different color. And in my mind, I think it would be best suited like a soft white cream color or possibly a black. And this doesn't look old. There's no signature on the bottom. I'm not too worried about me potentially covering up something that's really old or something that's very valuable. If anything, I'd be willing to bet that this was probably found in a big box store, kind of like TJ Maxx or something like that. But the shape of it is what really sold me. I think it's a really cool piece. And I'm all for getting things that you love at a price you can afford. And if it needs a little work, 
DIY. Nothing spectacular, but I did get these books. I just really love the colors of the spines. I really thought they would be cool. On a coffee table or a console table stacked like this. There were so many others too. I mean, I picked out ones that I would be really interested in reading. And they do have pictures on the fronts, but I'm not too worried about that. You could easily cover that up. Maybe like a wooden bowl on top of it or possibly a beaded garland. But regardless, cute aesthetic books that I really think are gonna be cool to have. And I really think these colors complement each other well, but I really do think these are pretty and a good find. Okay, next up is this pillar candlestick holder. I could not deny, this one is just a really cute one. I really liked it. And I saw it and thought maybe it might be a good styling piece with that wooden vase that I showed earlier. At first I thought $7.99 was pretty high for this kind of candlestick, but this is the first time in a really long time I've actually gone to the thrift store on a weekday. Normally I shop on the weekends just because that's when I have free time. So I literally went on a Tuesday, which worked out because there were still items that were in that color tag sale. So I actually got it for 40% off. But anyways, really cute. It is a threshold candlestick holder. Um, it was originally $12.99. With the fact that it was a color tag sale, I do think it was a better buy. This next one is heavy. I got this. I've never seen anything like this. That's Thick. So I thought that was cool. Now, I saw the price originally, I was like $12.99, I don't know, but it was red tag sale. So 40% off made me think, okay, yeah. I love the taper to the bottom. It gives off the appeal of just like a more high-end vase in my opinion, but I think it's really beautiful. So heavy, but beautiful. And I have nothing else to say about that. Other than that, that I'm really happy I picked it up and so I'm gonna put it down now. So next up is actually this wood, I'm gonna call it a bowl, but this had the same kind of look and texture and feel to it as the age wooden bowl from the Studio McGee line in Target. It was on my mind. Then I saw this one. I just really thought it was cute. Love the color variation on it. And on the bottom too, you can really see that wood grain coming through. Just love that it's a different kind of shape too. I don't, however, remember what the price of it was. I don't think it was more than $2.99, but I do think it was maybe like $1.99. I do think that's fair. I think it's beautiful. I don't know. You could literally do a lot with this. Really happy. I this one up. This was worth it in my opinion. Okay, and last but not least is something that won't fit in the frame, so pardon me. So this hamper was actually on one of the carts ready to be stocked on the shelves. So I immediately went over to it because one, I really love this style of basket where it's kind of like that braided look. But two, I could always do with more baskets, especially like blanket baskets. I love my blankets. And then my dog always steals the blankets. So then I get more blankets. So I thought this would be a good repurpose for having this in my living room for our extra blankets. It's got handles. It is also like a half moon shape, which is really cool. And it's considerably tall. You know, this is a nice piece. There's very few pieces that are actually unraveling, but but the ones that are unraveling, I could easily glue down. A little DIY and it'll be fine. And then I looked at the price and it was $12.99. I think that's an incredible price for a hamper or a basket this size. That's good. Because it is a hamper, it does have a lining, so I will take that lining out and clean the inside of it well. And I think it was honestly a really cool find. I actually was walking my way to the register and someone stopped me and was like, oh, that's a good score. Oh, I was like, thank you. But yes, this is really cool. I love it. Especially considering where it will be placed, it is going to be in a narrow area in my home. So I feel like the shape of this actually will lend itself well to where I need to put it. So $12.99, really nice hamper basket in really good condition. I'm ecstatic. So considering the fact I didn't thrift on my normal day, I'd say this is a pretty good haul. Not to mention the fact I think this is a really good haul to end 2021. That is not to say this is the last video of 2021. There will be hopefully one more video that I put out. It will be a thrift haul, but a different kind of thrift haul. But if you like this video, or if you liked anything from the haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, I'm gonna link a video down below for you. I feel like this is a good video, but it's also a good representation of just my thrifting adventures and my thrifting hauls this past year. So if you have nothing else to do, if you're waiting around for food, or if you just got a few minutes to spare, this there if you wanna check it out. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching and thank you for thrifting with me. And of course, happy holidays. I hope you enjoy them. And so I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. <laughs> My jacket is making so much noise. <laughs> this took the la la la. They're so simple. Whoa. Smiling.